Today, we're going to talk about the best monsters to use in SEAL. You unlock SEAL after you do 10 Naraka raids when you complete the area exploration quest. You know I'm going to stay true to the free-to-play monsters. I'm going to tell you which Nat 5s are good as well if you have them. If you like my videos and like my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Okay, the new dungeon seal. It's a six summoner raid. I'm gonna do a guide on it next week. I don't have time to go into seal and record. But today we're gonna talk about the best monsters to bring. First, let's talk about what you need for seal. Number one, seal doesn't take any skill damage. He only takes damage from damage over times. So you need to bring as much damage over time monsters as you can, and you need to spread them out according to what everyone else has in the raid. You want burns, bleeds, electric shock, frost, bite, poison. Everyone needs to contribute to bring multiple different damage over times. So I'm going to talk about the best monsters for those situations. Second, you need some move speed. Everyone doesn't necessarily need to bring a move speed monster. However, you need move speed because the damage that the boss does has really huge areas of effect and it can happen very quickly. Third, you want to think about bringing a reviver slash healer if you for some reason get hit by the boss you need to be able to heal and you also want to be able to revive the monsters that you bring into the battle so i'm gonna talk about all the monsters free to play and beyond the best monsters to bring into seal before i discuss these monsters i just want to point out one thing some of these monsters are better on soul link and some of them aren't it really depends on what summoner you bring and it depends on the team comp that you bring as well but you definitely don't want to bring a team comp that all three monsters are better on soul link so i'm gonna tell you the best monsters for each damage over time and whether they're better on soul link or not also each summoner has a damage over time so you need to think about that before you start building monsters for seal because you don't want to double up per se on the damage over time you bring if everyone in the raid all six summoners bring a decent amount of variety then you will be able to stack up to 10 easily let's start with burns the best free to play monster that you can bring for burns is fire pixie tattoo the reason that she is amazing is that she has a explode burn on her skill three you use her as a soul link and you can spam the second skill until there's a stack of 10 burn once there's a stack of 10 burn you can use the s3 to explode all the burn doing tons of damage the second best burn unit is fire jack smoky if you have it he also has an explode burn those are the only two monsters that have it and if you have this unit he is a complete must build for seal again you use him as a soul link you spam his second skill and then when the enemy has 10 stacks of burn you use the s3 the third and final unit that you can bring for burns is light pixie cheryl now light pixie cheryl's cool because she has a revive i would only use cheryl if if you're like a Kina and have the heals. If you bring Klee for Orbia, then you're gonna have to bring like a sustain unit and she doesn't have a heal. So if you're Kina and you have a Cheryl, you can use her as your revive. But I would definitely build Tattoo or Fire Jack before Cheryl. There's just better revivers out there. Second, I'm gonna talk about Frostbite and the best free to play unit for Frostbite is Water Harpoo Cicero. The reason that she is so good is on her skill two, she has a mana cost of three and she can do Frostbite, so you can kind of spam that. However, you don't need her on a Soul Link, you can use someone else. She's great off of Soul Link because her third skill, if the target has Frostbite, her attack speed will go up. That's good for Cicero because she has a basic attack skill that has a chance to apply an extra Frostbite. This is the best free to play option and you can put her as a non soul link monster now the second best if you have it is water raven rondell he is the only monster that has explode frostbite you would want to use water raven if you have him as the soul link monster because you want to spam his s3 as much as you can to get as much frostbite as you can on the boss and then when he has 10 stacks of frostbite you use his second skill to explode the frostbite doing a ton of damage again the third best 
frostbite unit is water imp champion yaku you can put him as a non-soul link both of his skills apply frostbite his third skill has a chance to apply five frostbites the percent chance it lands at 55 percent but if you're super super lucky you can get all five but his second skill also applies a level two frostbite any monster that has more than a level one damage over time is really good especially on soul link but you don't need to put yaku and soul link because both of his skills have that all right on to electric shock the best free to play version is the wind imp ralph you would use him as a soul link and spam his s3 the s3 has a chance to apply three electric shocks it's a 60 percent chance but this is your probably your best free to play option the second best unit for electric shock if you have which i assume most of you do because of the event wind ifrit akamamir you would also use him as a soul link monster if you use them you spam his s2 which is three mana costs applies a level two electric shock so if you have 10 mana right at the beginning of the match you're applying level six electric shock and wind ifrit is so good for the raid when he attacks the enemy with his basic attack he increases the dot duration by two seconds and that's all damage over times on the enemy really good to keep the length of the damage over times up if you have them definitely use them for seal the third best unit is wind charger shark he has a lower rate than the wind imp but he also has a chance to apply a three times you would use him as a soul link and just spam that third skill bleeds for bleeds is really a tie for first it really depends on the rng that what you pull from summons because you may not have had the luck to get this light and dark three star monster but if you did the best free to play bleed monster is dark gerudo rezak you can use him as a non soul link he has a bleed on his third skill and he has a bleed on his second skill anyone that has damage over time on both skills like i talk about is a definite non soul link monster you don't have to worry about spamming that skill however the tie for first if you haven't pulled a dark garuda is definitely the win harpu seal now at this point when you're getting into seal dungeon i assume that you have every four star pulled at least once because that's where i'm at so i assume that's where you are at too but seal is really good you use her as a soul link monster and you spam her s3 yeah it's five mana cost that's the big deal but it applies two different bleeds a bleed and a poison seal is also very good for expedition because of her second skill that removes a beneficial effect so if you really want to save your resources you can build seal for the sealed dungeon and then you can use her in expedition the third unit you can bring for bleeds if you've pulled it is dark mummy karakum karakum you use him as a soul link monster and just spam his second skill it has a level two bleed and it's only three mana cost last but not least is poison best free play option wind harpu that's why she's a tie for first and bleeds as well because there's not many really other good units that will apply a poison you spam her third skill so that you can get the poisons up and get the bleeds up now the next two poison units these are four star dark units so you might not have these pulled is gina the dark mystic witch you put her on soul link and you spam the second skill her second skill is also a level two poison and it's three mana cost very good and the third and final poison unit which you can use as a non soul link monster and hopefully you got him in the secret dungeon and that's dark lizard man divinadon he has a poison on his third skill and he has a poison on his second skill if for some reason he does happen to take damage it'll decrease the cooldown of his second skill making him doing another poison now we're going to talk about move speed move speed is very crucial if you want your team to survive long everyone doesn't need to bring one per se like i said but you want at least one or two in the raid somewhere there's only two units that do move speed up water hard remy and wind griffin bernard really it's up to you who you choose i feel like remy is better than bernard but the thing with remy is you have to use it on a soul link so you can use it as a third skill because the second skill doesn't really matter you just use the third skill here it'll apply the move speed up and crit res up and it's for 20 seconds when max skilled so right around 18 seconds you just want to refresh it for your rate now bernard for example you can use bernard as a non-soul link monster because both of his skills 
skills applies a move speed buff. The second one's not really a buff, but the third skill has a move speed up for 17 seconds. The second skill will increase the duration of the move speed up by five. So it really just depends who else you bring on the team. If you're using a damage over time unit that requires to be soul link, then Bernard's probably a better bet for you. But if you use monsters that do not have to be soul link, then use Remy because the crit raise up buff is good and the move speed buff is better. So let's talk about healers and revivers. You want a monster that does both, unless you're Kina. If you're Kina, then I would definitely go with Cheryl the Light Pixie. We talked about her already, but you don't necessarily have to. If you're any other summoner, Teon is by far the best free-to-play unit. Has the heals and has the revive. Plus has skill cooldown if you're like an Orbia or a Cleef and want to get more damage over times off. And this obviously helps with the other non-Soul Link monsters resetting their cooldowns. The second best free-to-play unit you can use is Wind Epicon Priest. Michelle is really good. She has a revive and she has an AoE heal, which will also increase any beneficial effects. Or you can use Light Wind Epicon Priest if you have Iona. Revives the dead, keeps them invincible for a little bit, and gives them a heal over time. And has the AoE heal with heal over time as well. She's definitely better than Wind Epicon Priest, but I don't think everyone has Iona. Notable mention is Eladriel. Wind Archangel can revive two monsters, apply soul protection to them, but only has a single target heal. So you can use him, however, it might not be the best. That's it for today's video just wanted to get this video out since we're just getting into seal like i said a lot of you may not be there yet and that's okay the cues to get in the seal are kind of long anyway because a lot of people aren't there yet you got to beat your 10 narakas for the area exploration and then you'll be able to unlock seal you'll get there if you like my content like my videos sub like ding ding bell i'll see you in the next one peace